Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Drunk Bingo here at the Hyatt Regency Atrium. Uh, let's see, just so you get a full picture, you know, like here's like the main stairway over here. That shit, oh shit, there's fucking, uh, there's concrete in the way, but if you look past the concrete and you ignore, ignore, ignore the concrete, if you ignore the concrete, there's uh, the entrance right here. That's the main entrance. Anyway, I'm on the second floor. So a lot of people these days, they're like shitty zoomers and fuck. And they don't use the stairwell. I use the stairwell though, because I'm like super in shape. But I went to this one and it gets kind of weird. I'll give you the fucking detour. That right there, that is locked. I tested it. I'm, I haven't gone down here yet. So you're gonna be discovering alongside me just what this mysterious, this mysterious, look, look at these caveman drawings. That's what I love about this place is that you can see culture that you don't expect. Who knows how old this is? I'm pretty sure that's probably from like 20,000 BC, these uh, caveman drawings. And I just think I'm super privileged to be able to see it. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Anyway, like that is what, that is what people look by. Why? Uh, cut. Anyway, that's what people looked like back in uh, 5,000, 5, 50,000, 50,000 BC. Fuck, there's actually a camera there. <laughs> They're probably gonna see it and be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Um, but that being said, for video evidence sake, as you can see, uh, scroll around here, there is no sign saying that warning, emergency alarm will sound. That, but, but then again, why are these connected here? Where's it go? Oh, I mean, it's just outside. That's kind of boring. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Sayonara, uh, door. Hey, follow me on YouTube slash Vsauce5. It's me, uh, Peter Manaccio, and uh, yeah, anyway. Peter's my real name. Fuck, that was close, I almost just fell. I almost fell and splattered my fucking brains across the wall, across the uh, ground. Anyway, so this is, this is uh, I'm pretty sure, so like this right here, whatever this was, it's probably extinct. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of primordial beaver of kind, like a, a sort of beetle ancestor, or beetle? A beaver, a beetle, who knows? Uh, some sort of ancestor. They didn't really seal this off very well. If I really wanted to get in, I would just have to unscrew the single Phillips, but I won't. Because um, they've proven that there are uh, security cameras like down there. It's the, it, it's the little black orb right there. Um, and also, that's blinking red every now and then. Yeah, there you go, you just saw blink red. It's blinking red, who knows what it's doing? Who fucking knows? I sure don't know. I love, I love stairwells so much. Th this is funny right here. Uh, it says RIP Kesar Stadium, uh, 1929. And the funny thing is, is like, my name is actually Kesar Stadium. So like I saw this and I realized it's talking about me, but it's a little bit cryptic because they actually got this wrong. It's supposed to say 2029, and that's when I'm gonna die, because my name is uh, Kesar Stadium. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people, I think, would have a really hard time dealing with the fact that, you know, they know the day of their death, or the year at least, even just the year, because I don't know, I'm gonna die in 2029, but a lot of people, you know, um, a lot of people would look like this guy, like he's broken, he's, he doesn't know what to think because he, he, he got forbidden knowledge he should have gotten and he's still struggling with it. Um, let's see if this door's unlocked because this is where I actually need to go. It's not unlocked, of course it's not unlocked. You want to see something stupid? Uh, it's whatever this guy wrote, but I don't know. Hold on guys, I just need a second. I've been talking so much I forgot to breathe. Okay. Back on with the tour. I'm trying to get back up to room three. I no longer remember why I went down to the atrium. Uh, the, the, the atrium. 
It's the, the atrium. Anyway, night drive on for too long. I'll show you another thing I really like. So like you would expect the maintenance of this kind of building to be like, we don't want people being stupid. We should lock our doors. And we installed handles that have locks on them to prevent stupid drunk people such as myself, Peter, whatever I said earlier, from doing this. But it opens. It opens, I can get in there, and you're like, oh, well, yeah, I can open that door, and you can say, oh, well, like, okay, well, that, that's fair, but like, there's no actual handle on here, so you can't open this up. Surely, surely they actually locked this. That's where you're wrong, buddy. I push it open like this, and suddenly, I'm right above the main entrance we were looking at earlier. Isn't that some shit? Like if I actually, if I stepped out onto this, this glass would shatter and I would probably fall to my death. And I think that's really cool. That's really cool, man. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and close that up. Can I get it after actually? Oh, I'm so lucky that it opened up. Imagine if I didn't open up, then I'd actually be in trouble, but I'm not. Uh, no, no consequences for me today. And I'm pretty sure there's no actual security cameras around here too. So like, that's really cool. I can get away with whatever I want. There's no repercussions for me being a dumbass. And really, if they wanted to get me in trouble for that, you'll notice there's no door saying I can't go, or there's no sign saying I can't go in there. Uh, that is their fault. This is gonna be really, I'm gonna listen to everything I'm recording tomorrow, and that'll be when I'm sober. And I'll be like, this is incredibly obnoxious. And to be fair, 